KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. That breaking news alert coming from Dallas, where two planes from the Conroe area collided midair during the Wings over Houston, excuse me, over Dallas air show. This is a, a very challenging time for those families. It, it's difficult for me to talk about it because I know all these people. These are family and uh, they're good friends. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. The FAA and NTSB launching investigations into what happened during the Wings Over Dallas Air Show. That collision involving two historic military planes at Dallas Executive Airport just before 1.30 this afternoon. This is video from the scene. It is very hard to look at. The crash causing a large fire and plumes of black smoke billowing into the sky. Right now, officials say they do not know how many people were on board those planes. We do know that those planes came from the Conroe area. Our Rochelle Turner live there tonight with the very latest. Rochelle. Sion, we're at the General Aviation Services where those aircrafts were stationed, and we spoke to employees who work with the pilots. Right now, there's still a lot of questions as to what happened, and investigators are trying to contact Next of Kin. Now, as you mentioned, that video is very difficult to watch. Video on social media shows the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and a Bell P-63 King Cobra colliding and crashing at the Wings Over Dallas Air Show at Dallas Executive Airport around 1.20 this afternoon. At this time, it's unknown how many people were on both aircrafts. The CEO and president of the commem commemorative Air Force says the incident is not about the aircraft and the pilots go through a strict training process and some have been flying for the CAF for 20 to 30 years. The aircraft are great aircraft, they're safe, they're very well maintained. The pilots are very well trained. So um, it, it's difficult for me to talk about it because I know all these people. These are family and uh, they're good friends. Both aircrafts were stationed in Conroe. Jaden Robinson works at General Aviation Services and shared these pictures and videos with us of the rare vintage B-17 that was part of the collection of the commemorative Air Force. It was nicknamed Texas Raiders. We spoke to employees at General Aviation Services who knew the pilots. It's kind of surreal to think about that I saw these guys on Thursday and that I see them every Tuesday and Thursday that I come into work and they always walk in and crack jokes or they'll talk to the front desk girl or have a conversation with us. And the FAA is already on scene. The NTSB is expected to arrive in Dallas around 9 p.m. tonight. Of course, we will keep you posted on any new developments we learn throughout this evening. Reporting in Conroe, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you.